Hey everyone, there's that old saying in show business about never working with children or animals, especially if it's pornography. Kevin Spacey though, he's one of those do as I say, not as I do kind of celebrities though. In the 1995 film The Usual Suspects, he played a ruthless criminal who brutally murdered people and did a lot of bad stuff. Um, but Kaiser Soze, even he had lines he didn't think it was appropriate to cross. Now the latest series of House of Cards is on hiatus because HBO would rather keep their political show all about locker room banter and corruption, you know, like the real Washington DC. At Westminster, though, it's been an accusationary freefall this week. Calvin Hobson's has been suspended, Charlie Elphick has been suspended, there are calls for Stephen Crabb to be suspended, Clive Lewis has been accused of groping people, and now there's even a Labour Party proposal to potentially forbid their MPs from using this sports and social bar, because that's generally where the young and attractive members of staff hang out. What next? Banning people aged 19 to 22 from going near the 1922 committee? Things got pretty real for the Conservative Party when Sir Michael Fallon resigned this week. Allegedly, a few years ago, Andrea Ledson said that she had cold hands and he said, quote, I know where you can put him to warm up. I wonder if Michael Gover or someone else in the cabinet had a swanny whistle on hand to add a sound effect to that gag. If I saw it on TV, I'd probably expect Benny Hill to be delivering it before, of course, quickly slapping someone bald, um, presumably Ian Duncan Smith in the head, and then running into the chamber, followed by half a dozen scantily clad nurses as the credits rolled along to Yakety Sacks. Alas, it's not television. Although events did take a surreal turn on television this week when Harriet Harman, of all people, decided to go and tell a racist joke to Andrew Neil, as you do. See you next week, though, uh, when frankly anything could have happened. And be sure, of course, this week to look out for all the newspapers on Sunday, uh, followed presumably by resignations on Monday and more resignations throughout the week. Anyway, as I say, see you next week. If you like these, click subscribe.